Okay, so I'm going to use this guy as my first post, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to measure from him. I'm going to use some math, hopefully. I'm going to try to make it as square as possible. And for my students who think math is useless, I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem to try and make sure everything works out perfect. So I'm going to put a little nail in here, right on the back corner. This is going to be the corner of this. And if I can get my posts on the other two corners to line up perfectly, so that if I measure three feet from this post, four feet from this post, then the length from this four foot mark to that three foot mark should be exactly five feet. If it is, then we'll have uh, we'll have a perfectly square corner here. So that's what the uh, effort's going to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, but. If I can get it close, it'll be good. And uh, I'm just using like spruce for my posts, knowing full well they're not gonna last forever. Uh, some people say that you should burn the ends of them to help them preserve longer, but it's not gonna last a long time anyway because it's spruce, but if anyone can explain to me the scientific reason for that, I'm all ears, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make sense to me because you put charcoal in your compost to help it break down faster. Why wouldn't that make the wood break down faster? So, I don't know. And then that'll be one side of my garden. It's not perfectly in line with the house, nor do I care. But that's fine. Like I said, this is not a permanent fence so we can always change things up after. If I get five years out of this, I'd be super happy, but I expect it'll probably be more like three or four with the winters we get. Um, so I'm going to tie a string down there. I'm going to mark off maybe 25 feet going that way. And then uh, that's how I'll do my, my three points from there, okay? From one knot to the other now should be, well, I don't know what it's going to be, but if I could get it to be five feet, it will be nice and square on the corner here. So we are, looks like a little short. So I need to move the post back there, just back maybe, gosh, not very far. So, all right, so I'm just going to move back an inch and see what happens. Now I know exactly where I need to drive my next two posts. So I'll leave those there, I'll get another post, and I'll just put in all four corners, and I'll repeat this method. Okay, let's go double check. We still got our five foot spacing here. How did you get in here, guys? Yeah, it still looks good. How did I get in? How did you get in there? Well, I don't know. That way. So now it's going to be thirty feet. Thirty feet this way again. That's what I did last time, right? It was it thirty-two feet? I better double check. I'll double check the other side and then I'll make sure that the bottom here is the same width as the top of the garden. And we're off to the races on the next one. And then the last one, have to be square, right? I won't have to measure again. I'll make sure, but it should be square the last one. So it's about six inches long on that side, which for a 50 foot bed I'll take any day. 
or 50 foot uh, garden. So I don't think anybody flying overhead is going to notice. So we'll put in one more corner post. Then I'm going to see about getting some lunch. And uh, the handle's getting real loose now on that hammer. So hopefully uh, it'll hold up for this post and then I'll make another handle for it in a minute. I tapered it off too much, so it's, it's relying too much on the screws, I think. So um, I'll try to get one more post out of it. Then I'll back the screws out and make a new handle before I start putting the posts along the edge. There she goes. All right, then finishing this post is gonna be an after, after lunch job. I guess you get what you pay for.